Number 80. Ethanol, which is C2H5OH, is used as a fuel for motor vehicles, particularly in Brazil. And then we have letter A. Write the balanced equation for the combustion of ethanol to CO2 gas and H2O gas, and using the data in Appendix G, calculate the enthalpy of combustion of one mole of ethanol. Okie dokie. First off, we got to write a balanced equation, right? So we've done that time and time again, right? Chapter 4, we've done tons of problems figuring out how to make an equation, how to balance it, so this will be nothing different. We just have to do the combustion equation of ethanol, which is C2H5OH. So that's the first thing that I'm going to write down here. I got C2H5OH, and this is a liquid, right? And when we're undergoing combustion, when a hydrocarbon is undergoing combustion, it's always going to be in the presence of air. So that means that it's O2, right? Then combustion reactions always produce the two compounds. They gave them to you here, right? It's going to be CO2 gas plus water vapor, which is water gas, H2O gas. Okay. So now just writing it isn't good enough. We just have to make sure that it's balanced. So if you want, pause the video just to see if you can balance it and then check with my answer. But I'm just going to, I'm going to go from here. I got two carbons, so I need to put a two in front of here. I have five plus one hydrogens. I got a total of six. So I'm going to put a three here. And now let's see. Okay, so I have four total oxygens here. I have three total oxygens here. So that's a total of seven on this side. And I want to put a number here because I don't want to dis disrupt the coefficients here. So there's one oxygen coming from here. So that's one plus two times what? So two X will get me to seven. So if I just say, you know, one plus X equals seven, subtract the one, subtract the one, you get six equals two X. Solve for X, you get three, right? So I can just put a three coefficient in front of the O2 and call it a day. Thank goodness, no fractions. Whew. I'm just going to put a three here. Okay, so first part is done. Write the balanced equation for the combustion. Done. Now we just have to calculate the enthalpy of combustion. So we have to find the delta H of the reaction, right? So I went to Appendix G for you guys, and I wrote down all the delta H values that we're going to use in our little equation here. So I'm just going to rewrite what they are below the compound. So I have negative... 277.6 for the ethanol. This is a zero. And then we have the CO2, which is a negative 393.51. And then we have negative 241.82. Okay. So now we've done an enthalpy, right? We found the enthalpy of a reaction. It's just this formula right here, right? Just products minus reactants. Delta H for a whole reaction, RxN reaction, is the sum. This little symbol is the sum, aka addition. We got to add up all the delta H's of the products minus add up all the delta H's of the reactants. So once you have the numbers, we always multiply them by how many we have in our balanced equation. So for example, I have no number in front of the ethanol, so that means I just have one ethanol. So I'll just multiply this number by one. I have three O2s, so this would be a three. I'm going to have two CO2s, so I have to multiply the negative 393.51 by two. And then the same thing for the H2O. There's three, so I have to multiply it by three. Now, if I want to get the sum of the products, there's two compounds here, and literally there's a plus sign. So I have to just add the two numbers together. And then the same thing for the reactants. So I'm just going to add the C2H5 plus the O2. All right, let's get one number for the reactants and the products. So the left side would just be the negative 277.6. And then the right side would be 2 times negative 393.51 plus 3 times negative 241.82. So I get a negative. Whoop, why is that blue? Should be red. Negative 1,000. 512.48. I just want to make sure that I 
put the right numbers in the calculator because a little slip up may cause big problems. Okay, I think we're good. Now we're just ready to find the delta H. Delta H for the reaction is the product number, negative 1,512.48, and then I'm going to minus by a negative 277.6, and that's our enthalpy. So the delta H for the reaction is, drum roll please, uh, this is keep change change, right? Minus a negative is just adding a positive, if you want to think of it that way. So let's see, it's this number minus this number. No, it's this number. I'll do that, plus 277.6, okay. So it's negative one, one, two, three, four, point eighty eight. And that's in kilojoules per mole. And there you go. That's it. What do you think about that, guys? That was pretty good. That's the end of this part A. There's a couple of more parts, which we're going to do in future videos. So hang tight if you guys are on the playlist. I'll see you for part two, or aka letter B, in like five seconds. All right? So hopefully this helped. Let me know. And I will see you for letter B. Okay? See you in a few. Bye-bye.